Welcome to another Artemis Suite tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn how to play sounds or other time data in Artemis Suite and what functions you can use with the player. If you want to play a recording, just select it by clicking on the corresponding file in the head navigator or on a mark in a pool project, and then play it by clicking on the playback icon. For more comprehensive playback functionality, use the player of Artemis Suite, which you can open via the playback menu in the menu bar. Like all tool windows, the player can be freely positioned. The player displays the name of the mark or file that is currently selected. To the right of the stop button, you can specify which input channels of your mark are to be played via the two output channels. Clicking on the channel names opens a list of all channels of the currently selected mark. Select the channels you want to play by clicking on them. The right column corresponds to the right output channel, the left column to the left one. To play individual channels selectively, you can also use the playback icons in the channel selection of a mark in the source pool. Clicking on one of these icons causes the corresponding channel to be played individually. You can change the output volume of the playback using the level sliders in the player. The center slider controls the total volume. The outer sliders control the volume of the respective individual channels. A double click on one of the outer sliders aligns the total level with this value. A double click on the center slider resets the total level to the default setting of 100% or unity gain. When you move the mouse pointer over the level display, a small window appears which allows you to enter numeric level values for both output channels or to mute the playback. The fields next to the level setting allow you to assign various functions to them. The number of fields depends on the size of the tool window and your screen resolution. Click on the upper corner of a field to assign a function to it. You can display information about the mark or file currently being displayed, or display the current speed or revolution speed as a bar graph or an RPM dial. The playback speed function allows you to increase or decrease the playback speed. When the double arrow is black, the speed is normal. You may slide the slider to change speed. The double arrow will turn yellow. Clicking on the double arrow will return it to black, representing normal speed. A yellow marker remains on the slider line to indicate the last selected speed. You can toggle between normal and last selected speeds by clicking the double arrow. The next function allows you to quickly change the playback front end. The last function, Play to File, allows you to save the signal currently being played as a new HDF file. This file will contain the current settings of the player. That means that the playback volume, channel selection, and playback speed you had set will be written to the new file. Furthermore, the Play to File function provides a quick way to create filtered signals. A separate tutorial will show you how to use filters for playback. Clicking on the arrow next to the Play to File icon allows you to choose whether the new HDF file should retain any reference channels of the original signal. The data created with the Play to File function can also be found in the head navigator under Recordings.
Depending on your screen resolution and window size, as mentioned earlier, more or fewer player functions are accessible at the same time. Now you have an overview of the player functions. In another tutorial, you will learn more about the playback functions in combination with the Mark Analyzer.